Hello, what's good? I'm Cairo. Welcome to my channel. I'm about to do the five minute chit chat. Get ready with me for the Jim Charles casting call. I'm about to talk about myself for like three seconds. Why I'm different and why I need to be chosen because I need to be. Yeah, so if you want to see all of that, keep watching this. When I come back, I'm going to have my eyeshadow on. Oh, hello. I'm back looking crazy. I decided I feel like now is a good time to start talking about myself. So I messed myself up there because I started talking without applying that makeup. And I'm like, yeah, this video is camping. It's going to be like 87 minutes, but... Like I said, I'm Kyra. I am 21. I live in Philadelphia. I am a licensed nail technician. Always loved makeup and beauty as a whole. I remember always wanting to play in makeup, but wow, that's 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 a lot of concealer under there, but that's fine. Anyway, I remember always wanting to play in makeup and eyeshadow and i loved color this is me when i'm like seven like my mom would get me the little anne frank eyeshadow kit i got older um probably like latter middle school years it was you know puberty came acne dark marks all that stuff started coming and i was just like oh my gosh i need something to cover it so what like 15 years later i love makeup for so many elements and beauty as a whole like I love the transformative aspect of it. I love the way you feel. I love the boost of confidence. I feel like people get, especially when I do it to others. I love the creativity of it. I love the relaxing element of it. When I'm stressed, when I need to be in a different zone, I just go to makeup or beauty or nails or me of that shit and then I'm good. So when I see Mr. James Charles came out with a show, I was so stoked and I feel like this had to be literally the best opportunity for me that could have ever presented itself in life. Like I'm like, no, this is mine. Like I need it. Like great. Yeah. And I say that because the things that he said when he was talking about this opportunity, it was more than just the makeup part that got me or, oh, you win money. Like cool. Great. But it was the, oh, you get to learn about business and marketing and you get to learn more about yourself and other people and just like social media as like a whole and like all the things that you would get to learn like that is definitely like what i'm into that's like yeah cool i know i can do makeup that's great a lot of people can like, a lot of people possess this skill but, like what do you want to do with it like there's a lot of things that i want to do with it so speaking of what i want to do with it i feel like my whole niche like what makes me special whatever what i'll bring to this is completely different there's a really big tie between mental health and beauty a big tie between mental health and the universe as a whole so many things in the world and i want to bring that to the forefront so many people struggle with mental health and they hide it they don't know how to deal with it they don't know what to talk to they don't know what to go to they don't know what to do they don't they feel like it's the end of the world and i've dealt with that and i've felt that so many times in my life that i just want to be a fan. I want to be able to talk to people and show them like, hey, like not every day is rainbows and sunshines, but we're gonna get up. We got this. We can do this together. Like, you can still put on a glam face and go cry your eyes out. But I feel like a lot of the times it's seen almost if to be beautiful means to have no issues, no problems. They idolize beauty. They idolize all of that, and then it seems like they're not real people anymore. But that's not the case. And I want to be the one to show that difference. I still have a great personality. I'll still smile. I'll still be happy. But no, like not every day. Like, no, that's not how life works. That I'm sorry. I feel like to do makeup is to be different because not everybody does it. Not everybody does it the same. And to have a mental illness, you feel like you are more of an outcast than anybody and more different than anybody. You feel like you don't even belong in this world. But you do i just want to show that it's okay to be different in a world that makes it feel like everybody has to do the same thing or be on the same level or have the same dreams or take the same path when you don't at all and just because you're not on the same path as anybody else like it shouldn't feel like you're not doing the right thing as long as you're doing what's right for yourself like that's all that matters and i just want to show that you know yeah, I feel like it got really deep, but like 
that's the whole thing that I'm going for. Like, deep but fun. Deep but beautiful. Like, you can have a world that has both. It doesn't have to be one or the other. So, this is the completed look. We're done. Um, I just wanted to have, like, a quick little conclusion section. So, yet again, my name is Kyron. I feel like I would bring a whole different aspect, a whole different vibe to the industry that we don't have. A very honest vibe a very truthful a very real a very raw kind of feel i also keep repeating my name because it's a name that y'all don't want to forget so anyways i hope everybody liked this video i hope you liked how the look turned out have a great day splendiferous night enjoy yourself have fun be good peace up